Goodwin's research against the Order of Ancients. Winchester mourns a good bishop and a strong, virile man. May he find his peace with God. I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the six. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wheels words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. The gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice, and this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor.
people of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylforth, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylforth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is a baying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Between his Swickland movement. Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. There is no longer freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade. Selwyn punishes criminals, as it should be. He's the worst criminal of them all! Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table. Where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree.
I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill. Survey the area, Zeno. Show me what lies ahead. What is that boy doing all the way up there? A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister batter as a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The Quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The Quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. Feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death, then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it will keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfus. Beard. You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man, you can't catch me! Oh, God help me. I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. Aid me. Be my eyes. 
Fucking young King Alfred. He'll crack his head like a fresh hen's egg. Again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotna. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Oi! Wigbert! You great moon calf! it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? How about I pay you to scuttle off to the tavern and drink yourself senseless? Deal. Better than running round after you, grubby urchins. Ha! <laughs> that showed them! Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? What is so important that you would risk his little neck for it? Keep your sticky beak out of our business. Whose business? The Quill's? Us? Working for the Quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? They were the Quill's ninny pops. Smart stuff to throw coin at them. They'll be too swift to bother you now. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. What do you see, Sunem? I should watch out for a mouse trap. I 
didn't get nothing today. I like the pretty things. But Majesty Bass Everyone died wrong and left me alone on the streets. I'm going to marry King Alfred, and he's gonna whisk me away from all this toil. There's never enough food. I'm always starving. Now, now, Elwyn. Few have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! And mother will give you a treat. Coward. Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until you're seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart. I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. My order is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. A pig. 
city. Non requiescat in pace. set to medium at an alehouse nearby. Talk way more. Dry over here! No salt! No to demon there's demon Eivor! Is this where Justice hides when she is tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies.
What does Zareeb do exactly, besides sniff around the king's coattails for the scent of praise? I enforce and interpret the laws here. Not man's, but God's law. The natural laws that move the world and hold it together. Well, if that keeps you busy... I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The Bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the Bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. What do you see? Meet me at the Witten with your report. Bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Such a grisly fate. Did you know Alfred? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once had them quarreling into Witten. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Did you know Bishop Alpha? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Aelfeth, scorched of face. All your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are, uh... Sleeping. Oh, yeah, perfect, yes. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I know the burden you bear. Such a weight of sin you have taken on. And all for your brother's sake. I know he lives. No, he's... He said it was for the good of all. He... I am his loyal sister, and I tell you, he is dead. You hear me? Dead. Leave me alone. I cannot betray my brother. Guards, protect me. Only as.
will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where's your brother, the one they call the Seeks? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all. Risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. If you don't give me Alfred's jewel, I will. I shall wiggle in your duck pond. Teething me. Let's see you, old friend. must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Not a priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelfer is dead. And we mourn him. But the foul deeds are the righteous. Kill us all! God save us! Sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's guard was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's god is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf. Is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse 
for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. served God. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order... Their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. about this lap, my friend. If Aelfer's sister spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it. The door to Aelfer's secrets.
will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward. We sweat and toil to reach this moment. The Ancient Ones lap at my sweat now. That war sweat the Roman gods hate so much, we long for. This god, or that. A good feast, with fresh battle milk on your brows, is not something you will ever taste again. Choke on my bones. God no! We keep our wits about us. You have my sincere thanks, friend.
Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. <gasps> you had your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Turn to Hytham and Ranmi. They will want to know what happened here.